always tracking. This is Next Weather. Chances of showers and thunderstorms are in place through the end of the week. But Ivan, you tell us it's a little bit quieter this afternoon. Yeah, a nice. little bit quieter, right? So uh, the, on the way to dinner, you're going to be in better shape. Uh, Lauren always gets with the storms. I tell you, you know, it's interesting because once they develop these outflow boundaries, you can get additional storms that then develop. But we've had an early start. It was eerily quiet yesterday with all the action to the north. And so we took all the energy through the uh, evening hours and just popped thunderstorms uh, one after another. This is what's left of one cluster that was moving from uh, southwest to northeast, but that's it. And then we had this little shower, uh, a pretty good thunderstorm there offshore. There is the line that I'm talking about. This is the outflow boundary that comes out of these storms. It's that cool uh, air that you feel when it's not raining yet, but it's about to. That sets up these thunderstorms that develop. And you see one trying to get going here across uh, portions of the hammocks and down towards the home set. You may get clipped over the next uh, several hours here. Rain tracker showing conditions improving through the evening here, so we are looking good. Going to still keep a slight rain chance in the forecast, but for the rest of the evening, we're looking a lot better than we did yesterday. Hurricane Hunters flew in, made two passes out from Puerto Rico into Tropical Storm Brett, found it a little bit stronger at flight level 68 mile an hour winds. Hurricane Center has it at 65 miles an hour, so pretty strong tropical storm. It's certainly uh, as best, as better organized as it has been over the last several days, continuing to move off to the west at around 15 miles an hour. There is no explosive uh, development here. Conditions are not favorable for that. This is not going to turn into something that uh, we're not forecasting. So Brett continuing to make a westward movement onto the Lesser Antilles. So there you see 65 mile an hour winds holding that and then heading into Friday night and through the weekend. This is the uh, Brett's graveyard. Can we call it that? Sure. It's going to dissipate after Saturday night. It's going to feel that wind shear, those strong winds that are going to get in its way, thankfully here. So we have the update uh, from by the many governments here across uh, the Lesser Antilles. Here you see tropical storm warnings and also some watches uh, with good reason. Potential development area still looking at this wave east of Brett. It still has a high chance of developing, but I'm going to show you what I call a, a feels good graphic here, right? This is, these are the spaghetti models we talk about, the forecast models. That's for the wave. Watch what happens here. It goes up and around, feeling that high and then getting pushed east by a trough across the eastern U.S. So not to worry about that. Brett was never a threat here either, but uh, we're looking good in the tropics Florida wise. PM storms continue for us over the next few days. Still plenty of tropical moisture, so the thunderstorms that develop, particularly Friday and heading into the weekend, I think will have the potential to produce some uh, locally heavy rainfall, so keep that in mind. But through the a good chunk of Saturday and Sunday through 12 o'clock uh, through noon, we're going to be fine. Uh, and then we'll start popping showers and storms, just like we will for tomorrow. There you see a good cluster coming in through, thir uh, through uh, uh, Thursday afternoon. And then things winding down as we head through a Friday uh, late again. So the clock is going to be about the same noon to six. That'll be the time frame for the worst of the uh, storms with particularly heavy rainfall because of the tropical air mass we're in. Southeast wind keeps us relatively cool. Well, maybe not cool, but not as hot, right? So the mid 90s are gone and we'll stick with temps right around 90 degrees.